TFNN. Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 219 points. You had the Nasdaq up 109 S&P's up 32. That's a 1.4% gain inside the composite, NASDAQ composite, 1.2 inside the S&P's, and eight, and a half, uh, eight tenths of 1% inside the Dow Industrials. Gold contract, gold contract up $7.20, trading at $13.08 an ounce. We had gold uh, finish its small ABC structure up, made it to the $13.20 number, got by the uh, downdraft out there from March 1st, Bottom line, it's going to have to build more cars to get up and over that level. Silver, silver had a nice day out here today, up 15 cents, trading $15.47. And notes and bonds, bottom line, notes and bonds, you talk about higher price, lower yield. Well, uh, what we got out here today, folks, is that you got the uh, lowest yield in the last uh, 12 months, 2.526. And what that 10-year has done, uh, the 10-year actually looks like next six months we can get down to 2.1. Yes, you heard that correct. 2.1, folks, and the high for the last 12 months is 3.2. So lower rates are coming at us. King dollar had a heck of a day, a uh, heck of a 48 hours, actually. Uh, King dollar yesterday uh, got smoked on the way down. After the Fed come out with dovish statements, bottom line, you saw King dollar go from a price point um, of the 95, 96 uh, down to the 95. Had volume on the way down. We did the 21,000, 25,000 contracts on the way down. Well, guess what? Uh, this just did 28,000 on the way up. Got right back inside the range. And what that is definitely all about uh, is that is about the aspect of uh, the pound. The pound gave it up. Uh, Theresa May, they're having problems over there, of course. Uh, that's getting more volatile. The pound went from a price point of uh, 132 down to 130. Uh, the euro also gave it. Uh, back and gave it back in spades. That went from a price point of uh, 114 down to 113. Uh, what I do expect we're going to see out here overnight is you're still going to see a lot more movement inside those currencies, which are going to affect the U.S. dollar as well as those metal markets. We get over and take a look at the S&P. What you're going to see is that the S&P closed at a high. Bottom line, that means it can go higher. Check out the high of uh, Wednesday inside the SPY, which is 284.36. Small cap, still the weakest indice out here. Recap out here, we had the Dow Industrials finish up 217, NASDAQ up 109, S&P's up uh, 32. Have a great one, folks. Have a safe one.